All right, 638, welcome back. Governor J.B. Pritzker could soon sign into law new legislation designed to create greater social equity when awarding state contracts. And while the measure has plenty of support in Springfield, the state's Hispanic caucus warns that as written, black-owned businesses are getting favorable treatment. And we want to bring in Peter Aguilera. He's the vice president of Aurora Business United. Uh, Mr. Aguilera, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. So first of all, tell us why is it you think the black owned businesses are getting favorable treatment? These are minority contracts. Well, as we see, uh, this bill does nothing but uh, divide. It divides minorities, okay? Uh, you're favoring one group over the other. That's obvious, okay? We don't think that's fair, obviously. Uh, there's enough division right now uh, in our community and now in the business community, it's, uh, it's absurd. Yeah, to your point, you say that the bill, which is 2629 for anybody at home wondering, will hurt Hispanic women, it'll hurt veterans, it'll hurt other minorities that are not African American. Can you kind of give our viewers an idea, just a, a thumb sketch of what it's like to, to land one of these contracts? There's a lot of red tape, right? There's a lot of red tape involved. Uh, it's always been like that. Obviously, we believe uh, the special interest groups, uh, uh, the... Uh, 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 they are playing the lobbyist uh, role out there in uh, uh, Champaign, because we're talking about Illinois now, uh, are uh, really fighting for their own interests. But what about the small businesses, the smaller business? Let's say the, uh, the under 50 employees, uh, uh, small businesses. It's, it's leaving us out. Uh, and the ones that are, get the uh, contracts awarded are those that have been there for 20, 30 years, uh, uh, getting these contracts year after year. So what can you do now? Uh, obviously talking to the media, getting the word out, but what else, what other action can be taken? Well, right now it's, uh, we have to talk. Uh, nobody has been contacted as far as, as has there been any uh, studies done on this matter? Uh, has uh, the chambers been involved? But what I mean by chambers, those that represent the minority chambers, uh, has there been any uh, contact with them or studies or involved with them? What makes politicians experts on minority issues as far as contracts are concerned? I don't think there isn't any as far as I know. All right, we're gonna have to leave it there. Peter Aguilera, Vice President of Aurora Business United. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a blessed day. You too. Thank All you. right. Six